Away from Nigeria, measures to combat the novel coronavirus in Cameroon are triggering an avalanche of criticism in one of the countries most affected by the pandemic in sub-Saharan Africa. With late border closures, no containment period, bars, restaurants and other places remaining open, masks imposed late, schools and universities reopening prematurely, Yaoundé seemed to stall and then sail on site, suggesting that its authorities did not take the danger of the COVID-19 seriously when many other African countries imposed radical measures very early on. President Paul Beer, who has been in power for nearly four decades, only appeared publicly on television on May 19, pressured by the opposition and even the WHO after more than two months of deafening silence. Meanwhile, all his African peers very early on, publicly at least, took up the touch of the fight against the virus. In less than three months, the number of reported cases rose from one to more than 6,500 in early June, with more than 200 deaths out of a population of more than 25 million.